It's nearly half past seven in the morning. It's nearly half past seven in the morning and I've not been to sleep. I'm stressed out, I feel an edge, I feel sick. I just, oh, I don't even want to talk to camera. Like, I know you can't see me, but I just, oh, I don't know. I just, I don't know anymore. Um, what can I do for you? You little fatty. It is mine. It's all mine. It doesn't belong to Cleo. You are greedy. And it's vegan. You are not vegan. It smells good. It smells so good. Oh, good. You're cute, aren't you? You wouldn't have seen me this week, officially. It is now Thursday and it's quite funny because last week I didn't really start filming until the Thursday and I've ended up with another film. I've not even finished editing it. I've not done any editing on it since Tuesday early afternoon, I think. I feel like there isn't much left to edit and you know it's due up today but it's not going to go up today because I need to finish editing it and right now I'm not going to be editing it for a little while and I'll, I'll try and do some later on but my priority is to make myself feel a little bit more human because I've only just gone downstairs just before four. I was up all night, I was up all night the night before as well and I went to sleep about half past nine yesterday morning until, I don't know, two something and today I fell asleep, I don't know, maybe a similar time and then my dad woke me up because he answered the phone and when my dad talks on the phone it's like, well he's basically shouting so that woke me up and then I fell back to sleep and then I was woken by someone banging on the door and this is really actually annoying me. Next door, even though she's never in on a Thursday until around this sort of time, sometimes later, she keeps getting deliveries to her house. So last Thursday, bang, bang, bang on the door twice by two different couriers. couriers? Um, the door doesn't ever get answered. I don't like anyone knocking on the door, yet she's getting parcels delivered on the day she knows she's not in. 
I don't think she's in on a Friday either. So it's getting a little bit annoying. Last week no one would sign for her parcels and she weren't happy about it because she came home and I heard her on the phone actually slandering me because she I think she must have rang her husband or whoever she rang and she was like and she didn't um, sign for it next door and I'd put down to try number for such and such and number such and such and one of the numbers was mine and I'm there thinking why the hell why would you put my house as willing to sign for so anyway I don't know why she's put me down as willing to sign because she knows I don't answer the door and she got two parcels and no one signed for them basically so today the first thing that woke me up was someone knocking on my door for a parcel for her hello and it stressed me out because no one knocks on my door I, I deliberately don't have anyone at my house and then I was woken up 45-50 minutes ago I'm absolutely exhausted. He pounded on the door like he was going to come through the buddy door. I'm going to have to put a sign. There was a sign up, but it's gotten wet so many times you can't read it. I don't know if you can see it, but she's just come. You stood next to me, haven't you? What's up? Hey? There's no T R E A T. The minty one that she has, dentist stick. Oh, she's got left is some of those little small square meaty chunks. And she's had some. I have to go to the shop for a couple of things, so she has to wait until later, will you? Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got any food, babes. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, my head's hurting and I'm tired. I'm not impressed that every Thursday she seems to get two deliveries. She's not in. Why not do it so it arrives on a day you're actually in? Both of them got it signed for, not on this part of the street. No one will sign for her because no one likes her. She's not very nice, but there's a couple of houses, if the couriers are willing to go and knock, they will they will sign for most people's. I never get anything delivered to the house just because I can't cope with people knocking on my door. It really affects me. So basically, I've just read both of these twice just to make sure i'm not reading this wrong there is nothing on either of these ones that say to drink it in a set amount of time they have been open three four months easy so this one actually says to drink within a month i thought i would love this because i love black currant and it was like one of the more expensive ones i thought god i'm really gonna love this and it's got a taste to it that i don't like and i don't know what it is it's not Black currant, let me tell you that. That's full sugar, this is sweetener. Full sugar stuff is actually better for you than stuff full of sweeteners. And this is probably why it's got the longer date on, or no date at all, because it has sweetness in. So I could have one of them. I don't like either of them, which surprised me. This one is per black currant and cherry. I love all three of those. I was excited by the fact it said it had purr in it. I was like, oh god, I love purr. Don't particularly love it. And this one I don't love either. Pineapple, mango and passion fruit. And I thought I would, but there's a weird aftertaste to it. So I think if I'm going to have one, I'm going to have this. But I've also just remembered I have other things. A cute doggy. I think she's a little bit sad. Because she normally has a certain thing. Now this is not for doggies. So here I have this that I picked up from Aldi. Never opened it. Lemon and lime. I thought I'll give it a go. Uh, Use within two months of opening. Are the ingredients on there? Contains naturally incurring sugars. So I've got this. I love lemon and lime, and that's probably where I got that. Well, it was literally, I think there's like one or two of this one left. I've looked in this cupboard because sometimes I'll accidentally leave one in here, and all I found that I can have because there is alcohol, well, there's fake alcohol in here. Alcohol free. And there is some real alcohol, it's been here in bloody months. Um, now and then I'll find the odd bottle of like a small bottle of pop. 
and I was storing some Lucas Aid in here which I've had in the last couple of days to all the small bottles but I did find a couple of smaller waters so I found this one and I found an Evian one and that's in the fridge so I'm going to take that out with me um, also I sometimes leave bits and pieces in here I need to clear this out because the stuff that's oh I've just found a buddy I know that but I've just found a the icer that I didn't know was in here but the stuff in here that's definitely gone off like there's um, flavoured waters from Aldi that I was meant to try but I don't typically like flavoured water that's been in there years because I used to get it for someone that it was their favourite drink and I hate Volvic and they've not been to the house in a long time years um, so soda water but I'm pretty sure this is going to be out of date because I know I got this a long time ago god this is riveting viewing isn't it but I was hoping to find like a more expensive version of this because I know there is one somewhere unless I've thrown it out I'm not going to show you what's on the side in here because there is so much stuff. Oh, I've just gone really right headed now, I've stood up. And I need to basically sort this side out badly. Oh, well. I've had this ages and I took it out of the fridge ages ago. It's one of my faves. It's probably going to say to drink it in a certain amount of time. Does it? Refrigerate after opening. So, yeah, I'm going to have to bin it. I'm sure I had a Robinson's one of these. I'm going to have a look for it. I'm not going to film the whole process. I need to get something to eat and drink. I'm probably going to make a cup of tea anyway. But I did want a cold drink. So I'm going to see what I can find. If I find it... I will show you. If I find it, I'll show you. Literally five seconds after I stopped filming, found it. I knew I had one. It's been on the side for ages. It's gotten quite hot because it's right next to the dryer. But I think, I hope it'll be okay. I'm... It probably does say to keep it in a cool, dry place, does it? Shake well. Avoid it contact nice. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a this one a go because it looks like it's apple, cherry, and strawberry. Um, summer fruits. Does it tell you what fruit it is? Apple thirty six percent, strawberry four, raspberry one. I hate raspberry, and no point six percent of cherry. So I'll give this a go and I'll let you know what I think. I will also try the other one at some point. These are handy sizes. But it's full of sweetener. I try and avoid sweetener as much as I can. I like having a backup because I thought I'd run out last time. I was like, oh no, I'm not going to go to the shop till tomorrow. And I looked in the cupboard and I was like, oh, because I was going to go and get one um, that isn't this one but out of the bathroom. But I was like, oh, I found this. So that's why I got two. These are still an offer for 50p. They are vegan. It says it on the back, but you can read the ingredients anyway if you're not sure. I've used one in the week, so I've just basically replenished it. The Napolina, all the products are on offer for 50p. And kidney beans are around 40 to 50p, so I've, I picked one up because I know I'm going to be using at least one in the week. I got this dessert. I've had this before. It was an offer for 150 I think they're normally £2.50, which are pricey. And I know I like them. And I am, I'm struggling with my having sweet stuff. Um, I did find that I had some Aldi vegan cookies that I've had for a while and I opened them and they're really bad for you and I've been having two a day and I want to have one a day so I feel like I need something sweet um, and I've just picked up one of these wax burners and that is everything that I picked up today um, well there was a, two other items because I'm going to show you what I got from the shop but I need to be quick because I've just cooked my evening meal and it's ready there's three things not here one 
is I got some chicken from the rotisserie. It was in breadcrumbs. I think there was five or six pieces. It was juiced to 50p. I gave that to my dad. He was eating a meal. He cooked some chips. I told him to put some chips in the oven. Came home with the chicken and what you can eat to you. And he sent a message. I don't understand that. Which means he's going to pretend he doesn't know he, I've got his chicken so, because he wants me to go upstairs with it and his chips and hand it to him. And I was like, your chicken's downstairs, you need to come and put it out. Because he knew I'd want to get my shopping out and get my food in the oven. So he tried to play on it and tried to get to take the food to him because he's been drinking. First thing, I got these cauldron Middle Eastern falafels. I'm pretty sure I've had these before. I picked them up because last week I was meant to make, or the week that we're in, I was meant to make falafels. I got a really good easy recipe, but it involves using the blender. There's loads of stuff in the way that I don't really want to pan around to because there's loads of things with my name on, like medication, so I'm not doing that. And I really need to tidy the side up to be able to get to the blender because I've also got um, my smoothie mix and I want to make smoothies and stuff, so I need to sort it out this weekend. That's hopefully the plan if I'm well enough and I'm not too stressed out. So I basically thought I'll get these and I can do them the same way because like on the website they're in pita breads with... I can't remember what, I think guacamole, and I thought I could have rice with it as well, so I've got them for that, but they can also have them for lunch with rice or whatever, so there's quite a lot in there, and they can be a little bit dry just in case you've never had them, so I got washing up liquid because I nearly ran out last night, and it's not like me because I've normally got three or four on the go, and there's a, I, I don't think there's any left to be honest, this is my favourite, I haven't had it in a while, spotted it, it was on offer for a pound, I'll probably pick up some more washing up like good tomorrow because I like to have a few on the go. And I don't mean the same ones, I like different ones. So I got those Nairns, Nairns? Gluten free pop oats. Um, I got barbecue, they do them in salt and vinegar. They were on offer for 50p a packet in the free form section. I'm not too keen on salt and vinegar unless it's something like discos. Do you remember discos? Or matchsticks? Or No, I prefer matchsticks in salted. But there's some crisps I do like, like maize kind of crisps. Um, so I got the barbecue. So last week I got the Audi version of these and I couldn't remember what they were called. Um, I did get the exact flavour but I've had them. But I got a five pack and I got two. Two of them were these. One was um, hummus with sour cream and chai. And two was hummus. No, it was quinoa with sour, sour cream and chai. And... You know, I love the tomato and basil hummus ones. These were on offer. There was a few different ones on offer for a pound. But it's the massive bag. Which I don't like getting for a simple reason. Is I never fold it over properly. Or they just dry out and they go funny. So I'm going to put them in food bags. So when I've opened it, I'll put the bag inside a food bag. And tie the food bag. And every time I get some out, I'll just tie the food bag up. But I really liked Audi's version. Because they were a pound for that massive bag, that's basically my crisp for the week because I've still got stuff. I know some of it I can't eat. So I've got some sliced curly kale. There's a couple of things that I'm planning on doing with that. I'm actually having to stand with the oven open because I've got food in there that's cooked and I don't want it to keep cooking. So I'm gonna do two things with it. I'm gonna bake half in your oven, you spray a bit of oil on it, you put sea salt in and it just comes out really crispy. And I've been watching some YouTube videos of people who are vegan and they're making vegan meals on budgets. And um, there was this where they did kale in soy cream. And I thought I could do that and it would be like a creamy, it'd be like, like um, creamed spinach, like the kale version. But for avocados, I went through three of them, made a disco with a tasty thing that I like. I think I showed it yesterday. All of the jumbo, including the, the single packs and big ones, they're all 50p, but these are the ones that I get her now because she struggles with the bigger ones because she's nine and I see her struggling. They're 125, I get her the medium ones now because she struggles. Oh god, this amount of heat coming out of that oven. I was meant to go back and get a second pack in the week, but I've not been to the shop this week. I will speak to you about it. So I've gone a few days without anything like this and I Everything's getting hot because of the heat on the oven. Oh, it's a nightmare. That's from my dad. I had one of these about a month ago, six weeks. Likes it. It's very different. 
got tomorrow's date on, which I didn't realise, so I'm going to have it tomorrow. I've ne This is one of the reasons why I can't ever go plant-based. There's things that I would miss, like mayonnaise. I have been eating vegan mayo, but yeah, that's not... It's very vinegary. Um, I do like my quark yoghurt and my Greek yoghurt and chocolate. I've become a bit of a chocoholic this last year. Um, and I can never find a chocolate that I like. So I got this, it was like 80 or 90p, so everybody good. These need to go in the oven, not the oven freezer. I've got some corn pieces, which is like their version of chicken. Hopefully it encouraged me to make meals from scratch this week. I know I don't need things like this. I will happily eat things with chickpeas and vegetables. But because I've struggled to want to cook because of how I'm feeling, I've not done. And I feel like this will help me. I can make like a stir fry with it. I can make like a, a chicken in a tomato sauce with some pasta. Um, and it was a lock of two pound. This is my conditioner that I've been using, but I used to. One, I mean, I meant to leave it for five minutes. And this one you can wash out. I discovered this around November, end of October, and it's lasted all this time. Because I don't use it every wash because I do use another one. This is absolutely amazing. I think it's 3 75 and I've literally run out and I need to wash my hair in the morning. So this is one of the reasons why I had to make sure I went to the shop today. Along with the fact that the dog wasn't very happy, that she didn't have a normal dog treat. She kept coming to me, she couldn't understand why she didn't have it. Because obviously we have a little routine. You've seen me with my routine with her during Vlogmas where I come in and we shake paws and she goes off with her into stick and it, it didn't happen today and she kept coming to me and she couldn't understand why so anyway and I also didn't have any of this but I'm not drinking any of that that's why I've got that which I need to put in the freezer because it's been out of the fridge for an hour and a half so this is absolutely fantastic you can wash it straight out but I typically leave it in for a minute put it in right at the end leave it a minute wash it out it's gorgeous they do different versions of it obviously this is for the colour they do I can't remember the other ones because this is the one that I want, but they do have other ones. I do also use the shampoo. Not every time, but I have the extra large shampoo. Um, I've got this for in the morning. It is plant-based. I've had this so many times. But it's one thirty nine normally, but it's an offer for a pound. That costs more than that. I've got five of them. Two of them for my dad. I've only got one of these. I have been having almond milk, but because I've been having it with porridge, I've not been using as much as I would. With cereal, even though I've had cereal, I've not gone for a full one, so I've basically just replaced it. I nearly said repeated it. So there's that. This is the only soy cream that I could find. I know that I couldn't see the Outpro one, and this was like 80 or 90p. So I'm going to give it a go. So this is the one that I use. Let me just dig it out. And it's super low. So I've replaced it with two. Last time I bought them, I got two and it worked out really well because I ran out and I was about to go and get the one out of the bathroom. I actually did get the one out of the downstairs toilet and then I went in this cupboard, which is where it will be kept again. I was like, oh God, you div. I've already got one. Well, now I've got three, so that's gonna last me a little while, isn't it? I can't believe I did that. I think it's because I did it and then I did it again and I forgot I did it a second time. But I threw five through hand wash. Like I wash my hands a lot. Not an obscene amount, like my hands are not dry, but then again I use hand cream. Anyway, we don't need a whole life story. I used up one of these last week, I've replaced it because it's 50p at the moment. The Napolina, everything is 50p. I do like Napolina. There's a Tesco one in there, there's probably an Asda one in there somewhere an Aldi one but I've just been placing it in advance and these were offer for 150 the other one were 250 I've had them before I like them they are vegan I am struggling with the, the non-creamy stuff like I want sweet stuff in my life and I can't have it so I need to get all this away oh that's what I'm having but yeah God, the lighting is rubbish. It's making me look like I've got really big eye bags. 
So I managed to get what I wanted from B&M. Do you know I kept saying, oh, I'm going to come and eat and blah, blah, blah. I actually think I saw it the other day, but because it was smaller than what I thought, I didn't carry on looking. They've moved to some of the aisles round in there. It confused me. Luckily, they've kept my two favourite aisles where they are. Or actually, three favourite aisles. I have three, well, the first aisle when you go in, love. It used to carry on to the drinks aisle, which it no longer does because that's now around the corner. The alcohol one's on the one after, even though it used to be along the back, the bottom row as you were like, going out. Um, they've moved, they've not moved the cleaning aisle, the beauty like her care, body care kind of aisle, they've not moved that. And they've not moved my favourite aisle, which has got like bits of ornaments, things to hang on your wall, candles, wax melts. Um, picture frames, mirrors, storage baskets, that kind of thing. So they're my favourite aisles, like the cleaning, the beauty and that one that I just said. But yeah, I've got to go to Asda because my dad's asked for something that I got him from Asda, but it just means I'm going to skip Tesco this week. Sorry Tesco, or toilet roll. I prefer Tesco's toilet roll. How many have I got? Have I got enough till Monday? No. Do I need anything else from Tesco? Because I'm low on money as well. So I'm just going to go to Tesco for some toilet rolls, basically. Random, but I don't, don't think I need anything else. Do you know what? I was meant to film, was it last night? Or, yeah, I was meant to film and tell you something, but I can't even remember what it was I was meant to tell you. I hate the lighting because it's giving me funny lines under my eyes that don't exist. So I'm going to go home. Well, actually, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to go to Tesco then Asda. I totally forgot that... Oh, God. That I've got to go and get it from Asda because he might want it tomorrow. I don't know when he wants it. I need to check the list to make sure I've got him everything else. He just had a right good stir at me. I filmed a 30 odd minute video earlier, so I think that needs editing, exporting, uploading, etc. I need to do that first, then finish the edit of the other one, and maybe export that tonight, and like get off my phone for a bit. The stuff I need to do, and I need to do stuff on my phone as well, but. I filmed for 35 minutes. It's amazing what I filmed though. Oh god, I was there really happy about it. I'm hating the lines it's given me because look, I haven't got the lines. I need, I've had two and a half hours sleep. I need to go to Tesco just for toilet rolls. Is there anything else I can get from Tesco? need Brussels sprouts, so I'll see if I can get them there. Is there anything that I want? So it's ten past nine, I've just got in. My dad's got his TV on so loud you could hear it outside. He's actually just turned it down because he can hear me talking. So now he's going to listen to me. Um, b and I'm not going to show you the thing that I've been trying to get. And I finally got. And I bought every one they've got except for two because they had defects with. I'm hoping they get more of him. But I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> See, I don't put all my life on here. Um, this is the glass thing I've got, actually. I like it. It's like A5 size. And like the height is like A5. So it's kind of like an A5 storage unit. You can use it for loads of things. What I'm going to use it for, I'm not going to tell you. Because I don't put all my life on here. And it would maybe give away a lot about what I'm up to. Or it might not. I, might, I don't know entirely what I'm going to use it for, but... You can put makeup brushes in, lid, lid down, you can put makeup in, but I'm not. I've seen these before, it's a Korean snack. I've not got them for me. I wish I'd got another pack for me to have it another time, but at the moment I'm not eating things like this. I got it to give to someone, I think it was like 59 or 69p, which I thought was a bargain. The Kinder Chocolate and the Choco Bonds are for something. That I'm planning on doing. Greaseproof paper. I know there's glitter everywhere. I was looking for baking paper. 
for Christmas for something. I can't remember what. I want this for other stuff. It's a pound. I wish I'd got a couple. I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. So hopefully they'll have it next time. And they want the last item that I can show you is three bottles of the watermelon strawberry cooler. Absolutely gorgeous. Really right. Now I need to find somewhere to put this stuff because it doesn't belong in the kitchen. I'm losing the will to live because I'm hungry. All I've had today is a fruit toasted tea cake, a fruity toasted cake. So, oh god. A pack of these barbecue things that you would have seen that I got yesterday, they were gorgeous. I've just been in that shop and I forgot to get some. And I've also had a pack of the sea salted hummus chips and that is it. I need to eat. My dad every week, and I know there's a mess, I need to clean up. I think I said that already. He keeps asking for chicken breasts and I know we're getting the four pack and they've got massive chicken breasts in and he wants smaller ones. These are smaller. And he keeps wasting food, yet he keeps moaning about the cost of food, and he keeps wasting it. So I've got him a two pack. If he needs more, I need to go in the sh I need to go to shop in the week anyway. So I'll get him more. They are cheap. If I was getting a two pack for me, I would get the specially selected ones, which are like two something, two forty nine, which isn't too bad. But yeah, I got him them. Last week, I saw the space on the shelf for this, and I'm like, oh, I want it. They didn't have it. Today, they have tons. I thought it'd be good, like, if I had a pit of bread, and I was putting stuff in the pit of bread, and I thought I could use it like a butter. Or if, like, I've got fat, I don't have fat bread, but if I had fat bread, or if I had a slice of toast, I could put this, like, spread this on and put some on top. Then when I got all my bread, that you've got to use it as soon as you've opened it. So it was a pound, so whatever I end up using it for, it, I'm going to, well, because it's got a long date on, I'm going to keep it and I'm sure there'll be a time when I want avocado or I want something and this will come in handy then. So that's what I'm going to use it for and I absolutely love the packaging on it. I got a bag of this last week and I used most of it um, because it's got Tuesday's date on it. Last week's one I had like Tuesday's on and I was eating it until the Wednesday and then when I went to have some yesterday it was slimy it's 45p I just need to make sure I get through it I got these last week really rate them I've got them mainly for lunches uh, the thing that I'm struggling with is lunches and I have quite a bit of lunch stuff now but a lot of it's like I keep getting noodles and beans on toast and that type of thing so it'd be nice to have this with some rice or some salad or some potatoes or something um, and that's two lunches, or it could be one evening meal and one lunch, don't know yet. I got my dad some bacon. I got him these tomatoes, he didn't ask me, but every now and then he's like, oh, can you get me some tomatoes? I keep forgetting to ask for them. They were 95p, which I think is expensive, but they, then they had the bigger ones, which were more money. And I noticed the seven, there's one on top. Um, I'm not the biggest tomato fan. But I feel like I'm probably going to have one with something. I've got some haggis. I saw it and I texted him. I like, want some haggis. It's like this. See, this is the difference between me and him. If he went to the shop, he wouldn't even think twice. He'd be like, it won't cross his mind to ask me if I bought one. He'd pick himself one up, but he wouldn't get me. So I've been eating the chocolate chip ones. And I think I said I was going to get these because I like the chocolate chip ones and don't, I'm not so keen on the chocolate chips but then again it's vegan chocolate so it's not going to be creamy these are still bad for me but they're better than the chocolate chip ones the fat content in the chocolate chip ones I think is 8.2 the saturated fat's 14 something and the sugar's 11 something so they are slightly better but I have been having two a day of them well one day I've had one and another day I've had two there's eight in here so it should last me a week because I'm struggling with like craving sweet stuff so if I have one of these a day hopefully I like them because when I got home I read there's apricots in them and even though I don't mind apricot I don't rub it as a dried fruit but we'll see how I get on with it I got this there were two different versions I should have got both but they weren't cheap they were like 95p each and I'm on a bit of a budget record which was spent most of the money. I've saved a little bit if I need anything in the week. Like, I'm going to need Diet Coke. If I need anything else, I've got a little bit of money. 
because obviously I might end up having to get my dad some more chicken but he's got a lot of food in the fridge and he's got stuff here that I've bought um, so I thought I'd try this I have gone off hot coffee I don't know why but yeah I thought I'd say I'll get all of this I always get this I always get at least two but it's typically I get three cans it's great to grab if I'm not going out of the house or if I've not if I've forgotten to chill a bottle of pop or if I've run out of pop or if I've drank all my pop and I want a cold drink some carrots because my dad asked for them we must be wrong tape. it was an offer for a pound I should have got more I put my last roll on the dispenser the other day so I like to have a backup I got four microfibers I keep throwing my dad's out he keeps using it until it looks like it's pretty full of germs and it's filthy so I picked up a four pack mainly for him they are handy for cleaning certain things but I've got some on the go and they don't need replacing so he'll end up with a couple and I'll end up with a couple he can have a bottle to or have a top and these are something like 35p those are the ones she normally uses well she don't use them herself from pets at home so I'll pick these up the lemon scented I don't know if they're going to be any good so they're strong yeah she's got some pee bags pity she doesn't bag it herself this is 23 pounds something right I need to put it away so it's a bit of a combined haul I forgot to get those bloody crisp things from Asda anyway I picked this up from Tesco pita breads which I couldn't get in Tesco I couldn't get the nice ones from Aldi they just had two packs of the white ones left and I didn't want the white ones I wanted the whole meal in fact I think I've got one whole meal left I need to get that out because I'm about to do a couple different options the packet was also and I hope it's not but it's still fine yeah they didn't have the meal ones unfortunately but I did look at the calories and they're quite bad 215 I thought they were about 130 to 150 whereas these are 150 but they are smaller so from now on it's going to be a pitta then the last thing I got from Mazda is I got two items from my dad he had it the other day it was what I bought the other week when I got the ham and I got the lamb and he liked it and he asked for another one that's the only reason I had to go to Asda and I was still then because I couldn't get them anywhere my favourite toilet roll I did get the peeled ones because it's just more convenient and also they did look better even though they were like another 50p more but who cares I used to get these all the time and they used to come in a four pack I don't know why they don't anymore they're an offer for a pound so I've got another sweet-ish vegan snack as well I've got this coffee god I'm an apple banana Euphopian oh god Ethiopian I couldn't say that a minute ago coffee and ca so your caramel blend don't know if I'll like it but I'll give it a good go and then I decided to get this I actually they actually have the cinnamon one in and they also had the mint in and they were the £2.50 each or they were doing two for £4 and I was tempted and I want to go in the week if they still got them in the store enough I'm going to get I'm actually going to get two of the crushed apple one just because they're not going to be selling it soon and that concludes all the food shopping I've got some falafels in the oven I'm going to make pizza things I'm going to make one with falafels in and then I'm going to make one like I was making the other day I have just been snacking on the cheese because I need to finish the cheese up as well. So I have a falafel, fake cheese, lettuce, carrot, onion, avocado, and then I've got everything in there except for the falafel or an onion in both of them. everyone I'm not naked just for the record I don't want anyone to think I'm sat on YouTube naked because I wouldn't do that I don't think you're allowed to are you so 
I'm struggling with wanting to edit my vlogs or any video at all. I think the last video you would have seen, I don't know, skinny dip unboxing. I had about four or five videos, Tuesday, Sunday videos, on my channel that I'd filmed in bulk, put up, ready to just make live. But I've got other videos that I'm going to film or have filmed. I don't know if I've filmed any. I think I have. That I need to edit. And by film, like videos, I mean Sunday and Tuesday content. That I need to like edit and export and upload. I just... I'm drained mentally. Physically, I'm not great. <laughs> got no energy. I'm exhausted, probably because I'm up all night every night and have been for months, but I think it's starting to take its toll on me because, you know, going to sleep at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock and having anywhere from three to four or five hours continually for months is not great. But I was just like, oh, the video should have gone up a couple of days ago. What am I doing with my life? I've never not got it up within the space that I'm meant to get it up. So, vlogs are due upon a Thursday. And the latest that I will allow myself to get it up would be the Sunday. Because on the Monday, we start the new week. And, you know, for the last year, I've managed to get it up within that time frame. Mostly on the day it's meant to go up. With the odd day of it getting up a bit late sometimes on a Sunday. But it's not going to happen. <laughs> And I've got another video to edit for the week after and I think, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just drained mentally. I just feel like I can't keep going. And I said a long time ago that I wouldn't push myself or make myself do things when I'm not well mentally or physically or both. And it's both at the moment. I'm... I don't like coming on here and talking about how I'm feeling. I don't want to go into detail because it's very personal to me. And I still struggle with telling people. I struggle telling my doctor. But I think that's a lifetime of not telling people that I'm not okay, that I don't know how to say it, or I know as much to say that I'm struggling, but I don't know how to tell people what's wrong in the broad sense. Like, what happened is affecting me, but I don't talk about it because I don't want to talk about it because it's upsetting and it is draining me, it is taking its toll. But I don't want to feel like I constantly have to get videos up. And, you know, it's a weekly video, but they're super long because I'm struggling to make them short. Because at Christmas I did Vlogmas, which meant I had to film a certain amount every single day. And it's like I've continued with Vlogmas, but it's meant to be weekly. So I'm getting too much footage. Then the video's like two hours long and then I've got to edit it. And it takes more than two hours because I've got to watch it. And there might be something like, I say erm um a lot. And even though I keep a lot of the erms um in, I take a lot out. And that takes time because you've got to stop it. You've got to go back to where you started the erm. Um. You've got to cut it out and then you've got to start again. My arm is killing me. And I'm dying for a drink. But it's just becoming hard. And it's always been hard. But I've always be de been determined to get the video up. Because this has always been a diary for me to look back on. So in two years I can look back on today and go, you were sat on your stairs struggling with life. <laughs> And you don't particularly want to live anymore, but somehow you have to live, even though you don't want to, because life's hard and people are mean. <laughs> I wish I could say it gets easier, or that you get used to people being horrible or making you feel certain ways, but you never get used to it. You never do. But I've got a video that's probably half edited. My heart's not in it. Like, I'll watch the video and I'm just chatting, but 
I don't want to chat, I just want to make content, but I don't want to make content because I'm struggling with how I feel, but if I don't make the content, then I've done nothing with my day, I've done nothing with my week, and with this filming, it means I'm doing something. I like the videos late, and I'm pretty sure I've got another video to edit or whatever, I don't even know, I can't even remember what's going on anymore. I'm tired. I was up all night. Sick of being up all night. And then I don't sleep all day. I don't get my eight hours. I get anything from one to five hours. I'm so tired. I'm drained. I just want to put this on the end of the video because I feel like the next video is probably going to be late. And I've got video content filmed for Sunday and Tuesday. And I've got other stuff to film and my heart's not in it. And I'm trying, I'm trying to carry on and I'm trying to pretend everything's okay and that I'm okay because that's what I do. I pretend I'm okay. I get on with it. This is me putting on, I don't know. kind of putting on my armour and saying, yeah, I'm okay, or I'm better than what I am, but I'm not better than what I am. But I don't want to talk about how I feel or what's happening or, because I don't want it to be out there. And once I've said it, I've said it, and people know, and people sometimes use things against you, believe it or not, people do. You tell people it's something in confidence and they use it against you. I don't know who I can trust. I don't feel like I can trust anyone. The only person I feel like I can probably trust is my doctor and it's took me a long time to trust her. But I know she has my best interests at heart and she wants to help me and she knows I'm falling apart. I know she's probably gonna step in at some point because they do, don't they? And I don't want her to step in, but I can't seem to get out of feeling the way that I feel. I'm getting worse. I'm not getting better. And it scares me. I don't think I've ever felt this low. Sometimes I'll, I'll be like, oh, I've never felt this low. I don't think I could feel lower. And then I hit a whole new low. I just, I feel like cutting a chunk of this video out just so it's not a buddy hour and a half, two hour film. Cause that's what it feels like. And it's not even like there's anything interesting happening, it's just me doing nothing really. Because I don't do anything, I'm too scared to be out of the house. I'm scared to be in the house. When I leave the house it takes me hours to go in the shop. And when I get out of the shop I'm glad to be out of the shop because I'm struggling to be around people. But I want to keep this channel going. This is what's kept me going at times, is having to film and get it up has kept me going. Do you know what I mean? Because it's given me something. But I feel like I don't have anything to give myself. And I'm trying. It'd be good if one day I could look back at this and go, oh, two years ago, I was this low. But I'm not like that anymore. Things have changed and I'm happy. <laughs> I don't even know what happy feels like, to be honest. But that's why I do this, it's my little video diary. It's just hard. And I never come on camera with no makeup on, or with a towel on my head, or a towel around my body, I don't. I don't like people seeing how I feel. Like when I leave the house, I put makeup on and I call it my mask. And actually someone referred to it as my mask and I was like, oh my God, that's what I call it. But apparently other people do it because if they put makeup on, they hide from the world how they're feeling. My doctor can see through my mask. She knows there's something wrong with me. She told me last time I saw her, she knows there's something wrong with me. Cause she knows me so well. She knows. I just 
didn't think life could be this hard. <sighs> and I'm gonna go and try and get this vehicle up at some point this year. I just got nothing, nothing that's making me want to put a video up. And that isn't like me. Because even when I'm really sick or I'm at my lowest or what I thought was my lowest, I've always got my vlog up. It's hard because I know in the vlogs I act like I'm okay. Because that's all I ever do. I don't tell anyone how I really feel. I've never really told anyone. Because I don't know how to say stuff. I won't bore you anymore. <laughs> no one really watches my videos anyway, so... I just know there's been times when I've uploaded a video late and people are like, oh, I'm glad you uploaded it, I was worried. Like, I don't know why you would worry about me. I'm no one. 